It's just so common that we see a business spending tons of time and energy crafting the perfect landing page, only to take their customer to a checkout experience, which ultimately feels kind of disappointing, or like it was tacked on at the end. Maybe they're even taking their customer to a new tab, which looks completely different than the rest of their website. In this video, I want to show you how you can avoid that mistake and how you can use Framer and Checkout Page together to create a seamless checkout experience for your customers. So let's see this in action. Let's click Buy Now. And we see the checkout page slide in from the right hand side in a way that feels integrated into your website. How about from the left hand side? That's just as easy. How about from the bottom up? Nice. So how do you do this? Well, I'm going to jump from checkout page to Framer, walk you through all of the steps. And in just a couple of minutes, you're going to be able to create that seamless checkout experience for your customers in your Framer website. So let's get started. In one tab, I have Framer. In another tab, I have checkout page. I'm going to open a new tab for the help center, type Framer and open this article, scroll down to the embed checkout. And here's the first set of instructions. It says in your Framer site, in the left panel, open the Assets tab. In the Code section, add a new code component and give it the title of Checkout Embed. I'm going to launch Framer. I'm going to create a new project. I'm not going to start with AI. I'm just going to insert Framer's standard landing page template. Open Assets, click on Code, give it the title of Checkout Embed, New Component, and Create. In here, there's already some code. Let's just select all of this and delete, head back to checkout page. And I'm going to copy all of this here, paste it, hit save. And you'll know this is working because on the right hand side here, you'll see this example checkout page load. Let's head back to the home page in Framer and I'm going to zoom in here and select the button. On the right side, I'm going to click the plus for overlay. And that means that when somebody clicks on this button, it will open an overlay. And this box here represents the full width and height of your browser. Inside of this box, you need to add a frame for the checkout page to sit inside of. So I'm going to go to layout and click frame. I'm going to draw a frame in here. So personally, I like to change most of the look and the feel of some of these things in the right hand side. So I'm going to click on this, align it like that, and I'm going to change the width and height. I'm going to change the width to relative and make that 35% wide. And I'm going to change the height to relative 100% tall. I'm going to change the background color to white, change overflow to scroll. Lastly, I need to add the effect of the overlay sliding in from the right hand side. So I'm going to click on effects slide in right. So I have a button, an overlay and a frame. Let's duplicate this layer. So now we have two frames stacked on top of each other and I am going to replace this frame with the checkout embed that we created earlier. And now I need to drag this on top. Now the embed has been added into our frame inside of our overlay and it's taken on some of the properties that the frame had. For example, its width is 100% and its height is 100%. If we look down, we can see that this checkout bed has a checkout link associated with it. So the next step is to go to checkout page and create a checkout that we want to use as an embed for our Framer website. So let's open our dashboard in checkout page. And this is my dashboard tons of examples in here. Remember that in checkout page, you can create as many checkout pages as you want. Click create checkout in the top right. And let's give this an example. And I'm just going to call it ebook for now. And I'll just leave this as a one time payment and give it a price of $19. Click create checkout. Remember you're seeing our branding because it's my checkout page account. So the first thing I'll do is just get rid of that. Go to design or just get rid of the logo. I'll get rid of our business name, center align the text and click save, click add to site. And I'm going to copy the checkout link here. Let's go back to Framer and I'm going to paste this checkout link in here. Unfortunately, right now you don't see any change. We need to actually refresh the browser. And now we've done that, we'll click back on the button, go to the layout and click on the overlay. And you'll see Framer has updated the embed in the frame in the overlay. 
I think we've set everything up. So if we just go up to publish and then update, open frame, scroll down and click get started. We see the overlay slide in from the right hand side with the checkout page we created. So let's see how easy it is to move that to the left side. We'll head back to Framer. Let's select the frame inside of our overlay. We can just move it to the other side. We can go over to the effect and we can slide in from left and then publish and update. I think if we refresh this tab and there we go. The overlay slides in from the left hand side. Last thing is how do we create the effect where the overlay is sliding in from the bottom up. So I've deleted the frame and check out from the previous example. And now I'm going to go up to layout, select columns. I'm going to just draw in two columns here. Now I'm going to align those with the tools up here. Give these a width 640 by say 480. And I'm going to get rid of that gap. And I'm going to also add an effect to this. So that will be um, slide in bottom. The overflow is going to be scroll again. And then I'm going to select frames inside. And I'm going to make that white. Come up to insert. Click insert. And I'm going to add this image. And an image here. Now I need to drag this frame. And I'm going to use these tools to align this. And like that and I'm going to give this a relative width of 100% and height of 100% click fill and then choose the image and I can choose an image from my desktop here let's like this one in this frame I'm going to add the checkout so I'm going to make this white again cool and I'm going to duplicate this frame and replace this frame I'll drag this on top of there. I'll use these tools to align it. I'll make it have a width of 100% and a height of 100%. Again, I need to replace the link to the checkout. So I'm going to go into checkout page and copy the link and then paste it here. We won't see this update for now. So let's refresh the page. Let's zoom in and select the button and layers and overlay. And now the correct checkout has been loaded. I just want to give this some rounded corners just to make it look even nicer. And hit publish and update. Open the page. Scroll down. And there you go. The overlay slides in from the bottom. On the left hand side, you could have an image or you could reiterate the benefits of your product. And on the right hand side, you can have a checkout or form to take payment or sign a user up. If you made it this far through the video, thanks a lot for watching. I hope I've been able to show you how you can use Framer and Checkout Page together to create a seamless checkout experience for your customers. This is really going to help you build trust and increase your conversion rate. Please reach out if you have any questions or have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see. If you're new to Checkout Page, we have a 14 day free trial that you can sign up for and try all this stuff out. Thanks a lot. Till next time. Goodbye.